So first we're going to look at the box. Sometimes the color on the prongs fades away, so we'll see what to do about that. So for the red bar, it's going to be a straight bar with prongs. The yellow bar is going to have a Tetris shape with prongs on it. And the green one is going to have a Tetris shape with no prongs. And the blue one is going to have prongs on the Tetris shape. But the only difference is, it does not lay flat on the surface the way that the others do, it sort of stands a little. Like there's just no way that it can lay flat. So when you put it together, you want to imagine that it is a chair sitting up high, a little seat. And we're going to see this little memory later on in the video. And imagine that this person can sit there up high. First we will start with the airplane for the bite wing x-rays. We get to see it all put together first. person can see through the window so they can see exactly where they're going. Now let's look at the fin of the airplane. It faces towards the back so that the wind can flow properly. So the first picture is correct and the second picture is not correct. So we looked at the horizontal bite wings, now let's look at the vertical bite wing. So we place it on the same way, where the fin is facing toward the back so that it can have proper wind flow. And the first picture is correct. And the second picture is not correct. So let's take it all apart, and we'll put it back together. Here's the straight bar. We'll put on the fin in the proper position for proper wind flow. And then you place your window on the front. There's only one way to place it, so that the little person can see where they're going. It's for the posterior teeth. So let's look at the bar placement. It's facing toward the front of the face. That is a good thing. And if it's facing toward the back of the face, that is not a good thing. So the horizontal and the vertical bite wings are going to be placed the same way. With the bars toward the front of the face. So we're going to put the vertical bite wing back on. What's interesting is you can take x-rays of the anterior teeth with the vertical bite wing. And now we're going to build our submarine. We'll look at it all put together. Notice that the seat is sitting up high and the person can see where they're going, just like the submarine. So we'll take it apart. And we're going to go back to that memory at the beginning of the video. We saw the chair sitting up high so that the little person could sit there and see where they're going. So the chair's up high, the window's placed. Only one correct way to place it. 
the person can see and have a safe journey. So this one is correct and the others are not correct because the person needs to see. And this is for the anterior teeth. have to worry about the bar placement. Now we're going to build our spaceships for the posterior teeth and the endo x-rays. So let's look at these little bars at the front of the ship. Imagine that lasers can shoot out of it, so it has to face the front. Little lasers. Now let's take a look at it and take it apart. Here's the bar. Depending on the area that you're going to take the x-rays, you can flip the bar, but we're going to put the seat all the way to the back with the bar facing the front because the lasers have to go to the front. So pay attention to the window and where the person is sitting. They can't see where they're going. Not here, not there, but they can see right here perfectly through the window. And the laser is facing in the correct direction. So this is the correct one, and the others are not correct. And there's a little spaceship. So when you place it, it's for the posterior teeth. Flip it over when you want to go to the other lower side. Notice that the bar is facing toward the front of the face. If you want to get the other areas, you have to reassemble your spaceship. So take the bar out of the seat, flip it to the other side, and you also have to flip the window. Now you can do the other areas that you haven't taken yet. And you can flip it over for the other side. So notice the bars. It's facing toward the front of the face. That is a good thing. And if it is facing toward the back of the face, that is not a good thing. Now we're going to look at the green spaceship for the endo. to the yellow spaceship. This one has no prongs. The yellow spaceship has prongs. But they both have the Tetris shape. The assembly is similar. And this person can see through the window. And the laser pointer is pointing forward. placement is similar to the yellow spaceship. You do one side, you flip it over, you do the other side on the lower, and then you're going to have to reassemble your spaceship to get the other areas of the mouth. So you take the bar out of one side of the seat, you flip the bar over to the other side of the seat. Must also flip the window. So 
one noticed. The person is in the center, and that's the way you want it. And notice that they're not completely in the center, and you can't see, and that's not good. So now that it's flipped over, you can do the other side. If you look at the little bars, if it's facing toward the front of the face, that is a good thing. And if the bar is facing toward the back of the face, that is not a good thing. So the moral of the story is, you want your person to be able to see exactly where they're going through the window and seat it properly so that they can have a safe journey.